G'day, this is Naseko Japan. Today, I'm gonna to ski four resorts in one day. The sun's out, the snow's fresh, and it's gonna be a great day. But first, a quick breakfast of oats and eggs. There are four different mountains to ski here. Well, probably one big mountain, four different sides. We're in Harafu. There's also to our right, Hanazono, and to our left, Naseko Village, and then Anapuri. Today, my plan is to ski to the top here and then ski over to Hanazono, have a hot chocolate and maybe a toasty, and then ski back up the top of the mountain, come back to here, get in the car, go over to the Seiko village, ski a run up there, and then go to Anapuri and ski the top run there. So it gives you a chance to see all four of the resorts on what I think is gonna be a, um, probably the best weather day that we're gonna have in the two weeks that we're skiing. And now I have to put on all this junk. This is what skiing should be like. Hooded lift, padded seats, nice and comfortable. There is one better lift here that actually has six seats, all heated plus hooded. Fantastic. So Tyler's videoing me, but I've only got one pole, which will be interesting. Now this is the easy part. We get a bit quicker when we go around here. Whoa, I don't know what to do with this hand. <laughs> oh, it's such a perfect day. There's a black run over there, there's a red run here, but I want to show you a bit of it, so I'm going to take the red run because it's easier to video. And at the bottom of this run, hot chocolate and toasted sandwich. And that building you're looking at is the Park Hyatt, which is not that old, and it's the top Hyatt brand. It's pretty much the dominant feature of Hanazono. This is a six seat lift. This is the one that is super comfortable with the padded seats, heated and the bubble, which is fantastic when it's blowing a gale. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, one hot chocolate and a ham and cheese toasty, please. Sure. Uh, that'll be 1,400, please. It's your hot chocolate and a ham and cheese. Thank you, mate. How good's that? And if you want, you can also get shots for 600 yen or even a bottle of Ferrari Trento, the F1 champagne, for 7,500 yen. This is the Edge restaurant and bar. I had lunch here the other day. It was excellent. Come and have a look. To get back to Naseko, you need to take that six seat and then short transit to this four seater over here. There's actually one more lift to go. So I've just skied from the top there, coming back from Hanazono, and now it's a very gentle run back down the family here to the Vale apartment, which is at the bottom of this run here. In the background, Mount Yotai. My gosh, that looks spectacular, doesn't it? I can tell you, though, that very few days are like this. We've had, for the first week we've been here, or well, six days, five have been just snow, solid snow, which has been good because we needed the snow. And as you can see, there's still plenty of snow left hanging on the branches of these trees. This is uh, Ty's girlfriend, Bree. Now, Bree's only been skiing for a few days, and she's, as you can see, got a pretty good grip on things. Yeah. How about that? But one thing's for sure, Bree has the brightest ski suit on the mountain. And this is our accommodation, Ski In, Ski Out. We've driven from Harafu to the Hilton Village. We're now on the gondola, which is a noisy old thing. Seats, well, you could, might squeeze six in here, but realistically four. And it's quite a lovely long trip up the mountain here to the very top. And just a little further around to our left is Anapuri. So how does this compare in value with, say, um, Europe? Kills it. For the first time in my life, I get a benefit out of being over 60 because I get the children's pensioners rate, which is about 42 Australian a day, something like 28 US, to ski four different resorts. The snow's fantastic and so is our accommodation. That is the peak of all of these resorts. This is the top of Naseko Village and it starts off with a little steep bit here and then a very long glide. Woohoo! 
What a day. Just lovely. And at the moment I'm skiing with my youngest son, Jace. There's JC boy there. Oh. Hello. Hello. This is a six seat gondola. We'll do two runs and enjoy what is a most spectacular view. That mountain you cannot ski, well, there's no ski lifts if you want. You could hike up there. It takes about four hours to hike up and takes about 20 minutes to get down. Not for me. Jace is just reminding me that uh, some three or four years ago, he broke his wrist just over here. And at the time I thought he was being a bit of a wussy and told him to get up, but um, he was indeed in a great deal of pain and we had to take him to the hospital and they were fantastic there. But it's healed now and we'll go and revisit that site and just rekindle old memories. This is the top of Anapuri, beautiful view. And at first look, things look a bit icier. Anyway, we'll see how we go, hey? Jason's boots are giving him a fair amount of grief. So this is the spot where he jumped there and he came down awkwardly, put his hand out to break his fall and ended up breaking his wrist. Four resorts in one day. What a great day out. Beautiful snow, lovely conditions, great sunshine, and now a 41 degree onsen. And then we're heading down to Kuchan to do some shopping. I love shopping in Japanese supermarkets. It's a real adventure. But there are some things that I've picked up that are quite different from certainly Australia. Things like alcohol's cheap and it's big. Look at this, four liters of whiskey, 2,500 yen. Remember too, the legal drinking age in Japan is 20. Bread is traditionally bought in smaller packs and the thickness of each slice is nearly an inch. You can get fireworks here all year. And whereas in Australia, Coke would traditionally have a fair whack of a supermarket shelf, here it's minimal. You won't buy a dozen eggs, you'll buy 10, half a dozen or four. And there are two prices for every item, one's with tax and one's without, but we all pay tax. I'm not sure why they include the non-tax price. While you can go through the self-serve checkouts, if you choose to go through here and have a staff member serve you, they will never touch the cash. That's because you're sent to a separate machine to pay for your goods and then you go over to the packing station and pack them. And if you're coming to Japan, you're probably gonna need some cash. What are your options? On December 6th, the day we traveled, I priced cash at a number of different outlets. The worst I got was at New Chitose Airport in Sapporo, where they offered me 72.13 yen for every Australian dollar. At Perth Airport, it was marginally better. I got 72.9 yen for my dollar. At this smart exchange ATM at a supermarket, I was offered 81.73. But the best rates I got were using travel cards. Using a Commonwealth travel card, I got 88.1 yen, but they charge me a 1.1% fee at the machine when I take it out here in Japan. So effectively, the rate is 87.23. But by far the best rate I've seen, and this is not for cash, is using my Bankwest credit card. There's no 3% foreign transaction fee, and the rate on the 6th of December was 91.38. How can I get cash using this card here in Japan? Well, if I see someone paying cash at the checkout, I'll say, look, let me put it on my card, you give me the cash. I'm pretty much getting the real exchange rate. In other words, there's a very fine margin for the bank. But in summary, there's a huge difference between the worst rate, 72.13, and the best rate, 91.38. And that's money that's better off in my pocket than some banks. Well, that's it for this video. Oh, I should say that we had an earthquake today here in Japan, 4.3 on the Richter scale, and noticeable in the apartment. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and become a member. Lots of benefits for you. All that remains is for me to say thanks for watching. And stay passionate. This looks a little bit icier than the other three runs. This looks a bit icier than the other three resorts. Things look a bit icier here than what we've been having. Things look a bit icier than the, uh, than what, than what? <laughs>